welcome to the Bethlehem Toy Shop. Hopefully you'll enjoy your time here. So in Bible times, children had a lot of chores and responsibilities, probably quite a few more than you did. However, children still got to play and love to play and they love to play with toys. And that's why we have a toy shop here. And actually, archaeologist, many, many years from when I would have been manning the um, Bethlehem toy shop, have found children's toys among the items that were excavated or dug up that they found. Um, they would often find dolls baked from like uh, powdered quartz, um, so almost like clay that they would bake dolls for um, children to play with. There were also wooden animals with wheels. You might have actually seen toys like this. Like I've seen um, wooden ducks that you pull on a string or wooden dogs that you pull on a string. Um, so some toys uh, are similar to ones we have today, but they didn't have the technology we have. So they didn't have screens to keep them occupied. The toys they had tended to be pretty simple. Um, they did have some animal or toys that had a few complex parts, like maybe a mouth that moves on a wooden animal. Um, they also played a lot of games. So they played games that used things that were pretty easy to find and come across because there wasn't a lot of time devoted to creating toys um, for children because they had to worry about getting food for everyone to eat. So um, a lot of times they would play with balls um, and they would make these balls from hair, leather, wood, just anything they could come up with to create a ball. And then they would play games that are probably pretty similar to some of the games that we still play today. Um, so enjoy your time here in the toy shop. I would like for you to have the opportunity to make your own toy using the air clay that we has been provided in the kit. Uh, make any toy you want. If you want to make a doll or a ball like they would have played with, that's awesome. If you'd like to make something different, go for it. It's your clay. Make a toy that you would like to um, play with. And um, if you have enough time um, after you've made your toy, um, I invite you to find a ball. You could actually even use your clay for this. You could form your clay into a ball to play a game that children all around me play all the time. In this game, it's pretty simple, um, but it's a lot of fun as many great games are. So what you wanna do is once you have a ball, if you make one from your air clay, cool. Um, otherwise you could just use a tennis ball or a squishy ball or any kind of soft ball that um, won't hurt too much, but it has a little bit of bounce to and has a little bit of bounce to it. And what you'll do is you'll take turns bouncing it off your forearms and you'll want to bounce it to um, whoever you're playing with. And if you're playing by yourself, that's fine too. You're going to take turns bouncing it from one arm to the other. The goal is to keep the ball from dropping. So keep it from hitting the ground. Um, give it a try. See how many times you can keep it, um, you can bounce it without it hitting the floor. Thanks for visiting the toy shop. Even though things were um, pretty different in that time, um, there are a lot of similarities. Kids um, always like to play. Um, and it's really fun to imagine that maybe Mary and Joseph came to this toy shop to get a toy for Jesus for when he was a little bit older. It's, um, we often think about Jesus as a baby and Jesus as an adult, but Jesus was a kid too. So I bet he played games just like the ones you might one you might play today, um, and he would have had toys just um, like all the other kids uh, during that time. So hope you enjoyed your time at the toy shop. Have fun creating that toy, playing that game, and I'll see you at the next station.